afternoon. Uh, another nice day here in uh, Northern Ontario. My name is Dave. This is Macaro Society, my end scale layout. Uh, today we're going to talk about trees and how I go about making uh, plastic trees that I buy in batches for like four dollars a batch. It's usually like 20 trees. I wanna, <laughs> I'm going to show you what I do to make them look a little bit more like trees. Uh, they I get them from uh, two places, AliExpress and uh, Wish.com. And uh, the, it's amazing how many of them uh, there are here. I'm just going to switch over so you can see. There we go. So this is how they come. So the, this bright green color, greener than any tree I've ever seen. And... Uh, you can get them in all sorts of sizes. Uh, they have, uh, let me just pull, them. Right, pull out another one here so you can see. Here's, uh, here's an evergreen. There, there you go. There's, there's the evergreen. So the first step in this uh, and I'm not going to show you that because it's a, it's, it's a simple operation, so we, if you're ever using a rattle can, you, can you, you know what I'm about to tell you. So what I dip, typically do is, take this styrofoam, and I put the trees on the styrofoam. And then I spray them with uh, three or four different colors of green, so that it is so that there's more variance in the color of the tree, and it dulls it down as well. The, the, the I first spray it with a uh, sort of camo flat black, and then build it back up with the uh, green four uh, three three colors of uh, a spray paint. So these are the trees here uh, once they've been painted. And what I'm going to show you now is how I take them one step further than this, although they're pretty good like this, uh, ready to go. But I think it's, uh, you can make them look a little bit even better. So here we go. So I have, uh, I've got three bags of uh, Woodland Scenics Turf Blends. And I've put them in. I put them in a uh, styrofoam tray that you got meat, meat in and stuff. When I say these things, they're, they, they can be very useful. Um, and then what I do is I take the tree and I'll take one of the ones that's painted. The reason I'm wearing a glove is because I'm going to spray this thing with uh, while I'm holding on to it. So here's the tree itself. Paint it up. Uh, I want your camera too. What? Not it. No, camera two is just a wider shot. So we'll go back to. We'll go back to set. And uh, as you can see, it's it's quite a bit darker than than the other one down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some uh, Gorilla Glue spray adhesive. This stuff is a messy, messy stuff to work with. And I'm going to spray the tree down with some glue. And then I'm going to take the tree and roll it in these turfs. Now two of these turfs are very, very fine. And one is a, a, a much thicker, uh, much thicker texture, and so it does. It, it, it does. Uh, it does fill in the the gaps a little bit better. So I'll just do a couple more here, so you can see. This isn't going to be a long video because. 
punch a couple holes here so I got them ready to go. So let's take, uh, where did that little pine tree go that I have? Oh, let me... uh, you can also do this without painting them. And that's what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to spray this, uh, spray this little pine tree. And then I'm going to roll it in the coarsest turf here. So now we've gone from let me reach it again. Oh, there it is there. So we've gone from this to this. So this is much fuller than it was. And I'm just gonna pick it up and stick it in the So you can see that it doesn't take much to turn these uh, very cheap uh, plastic trees into something that's quite usable. Um, like I say, I get them on, on, on Wish. They come in plastic bags um, that, uh, that they're packaged in. Um, there are some though that you can get from Wish and AliExpress that are much better tree looking trees. And I'm just gonna show you these two. This tree is much more realistic, although not a really good copy of, 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 of uh, a pine, but it is much better and you don't really have to do anything to it. So, That's it, really. I mean, this is going to be, like I say, a short, short video. Um, the uh, the river has turned out really well, um, and uh, so we're getting set now to uh, to start to work on the uh, on the on the switching yard, uh, which I'll, I'll start next week. Um, I'm going to show you how, how I'm going to do that. Uh, and then I'm going to go off and finish it and then put it on the layout and we'll, we'll move all the cameras over down the other end of the, uh, the layout and uh, we'll start uh, laying points and track and uh, pinning, pinning stuff down to, to see if uh, it actually works. So anyway, thank you for watching today. I, I know this is a really short one, but it, uh, it really doesn't, doesn't take much to do this. And uh, once again, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm I, uh, really happy with the subscribers that we have now. It's uh, close to 120 people. That's pretty big, pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Um, so that's all for today. And we will see you next week when we are working on the yard.